this week on the bench I'm going to tie you up the brown carpacatus. We named it the carpacatus because the xenon or antron we use to tie the fly is what they make carpet from. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook we'll use a 2x fine size 14 dry. Some ADOT olive done thread to tie with. Some olive brown xenon for the tail. Some olive brown antron dubbing for the body. Some olive brown xenon again for the wing and a tiny brown hackle for the hackle. To start the fly off, I've tied my thread in and gone to the bend on the hook. I'm gonna take a little bit of my, my xelon. And again, I only want this a fairly short little tail on it, probably a quarter of an inch long, and then we're just gonna tie it in. The next step in the fly is very important. You want this body to be quite thin. So what I'm gonna do is take some olive brown antron, and I'm gonna dub it onto my thread and I just want a very fine amount of dubbing on this thread. And then we're going to wrap it forward and as we wrap it forward on the hook we're going to go over it with our thread and this will keep packing that dubbing down and make the body look very thin. Now it's very important when you're tying in the wing to actually build it up and how we're going to do this is take one clump of Zelon and tie it in. And don't worry about the length at this point. Just tie in one clump. And then take another piece and tie it in. And by the time we're finished, we'll have three pieces of Zelon built around to form the wing. So one on one edge, one kind of up the middle of the fly, and one on the other edge. Once we have the three clumps of Zelon tied in for the wing, we're going to trim it to the right size. And again, I usually pull it back just so it's about to the back of the body. So not much further, not the length of the tail, just to the back of the body. And cut off your zeal on there. Another key to this fly is keeping your legs or the hackle very small. I only take two wraps and I want to keep it really small. So what I mean by small is select a hackle that is half the size of of what the hook shank is. It should be very, very small. You only want a couple of little feet, or a couple of little legs right off the front of this fly. So I'm only taking two turns with my hackle, and that's it, then tying off. Now I'm just gonna whip finish off the head, finish up that fly, and cut off your thread. Now the big thing to remember about this brown carpacatus is small. You want a nice thin body, small little tail and especially the hackle only one or two wraps of hackle and that's it to watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown head to on the fly and book yourself the trip of a lifetime